Now, a small screen stalwart since the 70s, Amanda Muggleton is one of our film and TV favourites. She starred in everything from Prisoner to A Country Practice and also Home and Away. Yeah, the award-winning theatre star also happens to be a much-loved person around the Daily Edition desk. Yes. Oh, Amanda, it's so <laughs> great to see you. I'm so honoured to be here for your last show. You have supported my career. Every time I've done a show, you've had me on here and you've supported the art like no other show. Yeah. Do, do you know what I think you should do? We should talk to Channel 7 and say, we need an entertainment show. <laughs> <laughs> like Entertainment Tonight, there's nothing like that in this whole country. Well, there used to be something on the yeah. ABC called The Mix, but the poor yeah. ABC is dead in the water too. We, well. we, we're going to talk about performance very soon, Amanda, yeah. but uh, how's lockdown been for you? Very up and down. OK. Um, I've been... Uh, it doesn't help when you have great friends who are dying and or dead but I tell you what I did do I bought myself a puppy yes and I got her over Easter and so she was my Easter bunny <laughs> so I called her Mopsy because she looks like a, a mop <laughs> You've and actually, your dog talks. I wanna, my I wanna, dog does so, talk. She's so, incredibly clever. Let's show everyone. There's some vision here of what your dog is is speaking. Is that? Have yes. You, yeah. oh Hello, I'm Mopsy Muggleton, and this in this house, I am the top dog. So I get to have the top of the couch. Um, I love to run. I love to dance. I love cuddles with my mum Amanda. Quite the genius dog. She's just amazing. <laughs> so of course she's a little rescue dog. Cute. And uh, it's the best thing that I've done to get her because oh, she's good taken, on you. Yeah. taken yeah. So me out of my She dogs. gets me up in the morning and we go walking and have a laugh and yeah. it's beautiful. She's the most dear thing. The yeah. arts industry, we were just saying yesterday, got a, a boost from the federal government. What yeah. do you think now that means that the future will look like for Aussie too stage and screen? Too little, too late. Nice. I've literally got friends in their 60s who are trying to get back into their parents' house, if they're still alive, that the young people are couch surfing. I don't think people realise that we, we're not going to get back on our feet for at least a year or mm. until indeed until they find a vaccination mm. and it's all very well giving us 250 million but the actual practitioners the beautiful ballet dancers opera singers musicians and actors my my tribe where we are all casual workers mm. unless you are a permanent member of home and away or neighbors mm. or one of those shows Everyone is on a casual contract, and so we can't get job keeper mm. because we can never keep our jobs. Mm. Every every major musical I've done, every yes. major piece of theatre, you go under contract for so many weeks, so many months. Mm. So I don't think the government realises that the actual people at the coal face are the people who are not going to get the 250 million because it's going to the businesses, the the festivals, and those people have all been on job keeper. Yeah. They've they're all still on a wage, but it's the practitioners who are yeah. not going to get it. Yeah. So it's uh, Amanda, terrible. it was such a sad week with the passing of Michael Fowler. And what were your memories of him? Oh, I've broken my heart about... Oh, here I go. About Michael. Yeah, he was... Um, I don't suppose we're allowed to call them this anymore, but in the day he was one of my show ponies in the wonderful production of HMS Pinafore with yeah. John English and, yeah. of course, Simon Geller was in it and he was also the producer. Right production. And it was fantastic. I, there's me doing a little butterclub, and that's Michael to my yeah. right. He was, and there he is again to my right. Oh. He always managed to get centre stage. He was such fun, beautiful voice, beautiful actor, beautiful smile. And he is a great loss to, to our industry. He loved our industry. He helped people who couldn't get work. He would, you know, do everything he could to... He almost became like an agent, particularly for singers. Right. He'd get groups of uh, people together and get them out there. Well, yeah. you've got a, another little angel up there looking after you. I am. It's a beautiful I memory. Have. So lovely to see you. Oh, Thank you so much for coming in today. Thanks, Thank Amanda. You. Bye, Amanda. Thank you very much. We have a